This is the Marvel Legends series X-Men 2-pack featuring Storm and Marvel's Thunderbird. I picked up this set from Hobby Corner. Let's a quick look at the packaging. Fantastic artwork. Very cool. Let's get them both out of packaging. Let's begin with John Proudstar, Thunderbird. He had a short-lived life on the comic book pages. Now, this figure, I believe, uses the Wonder Man uh, mold. It's a relatively older body, male body figure mold. I can't be too sure since I don't have my Wonder Man figure anymore. The tassels right here, I, I'm pretty sure they're from Forge since I just reviewed Forge. And the bicep tassels i think are new even the arm the bracelets i think are from wonder man and despite being an old figure the joints seem to be pretty tight on my copy of the figure as you can see right here you can still do that a lot of the poses uh still this mode didn't have any butterfly joints so it's very hard to put him in leaping pose like shh. The only problem I have with the mold are the hands. On my copy, the hands easily pop off and they don't seem to stay or or plug into place. And uh, I don't know why, but the hands I believe are new or they have remolded them from another figure. And they just, they kind of tab in, but they, they love to, they don't stay that much. They don't stay on very tight, especially this left fist. I don't know why, but I try to push it in all the way, but it just, it just loves to, to pop off very easily when you're trying to pose it. The right hand seems to stay on fairly okay. Now, the long neck doesn't bother me as much for some reason. Uh, I just pose the figure with the neck joint bent backward like that or bent forwards like that so the neck doesn't really bother me too much what bothers me though is that the head sculpt i believe is just way too big for this old body sculpt body mold which you know i think hasbro should have given us if they were going to give us a, a thunderbird anyway i think they should have given us a new body mold like a bigger bigger brawnier body mold rather than wonder man because i think thunderbird was much bigger than wonder man here he is with colossus and if you look at colossus he comes as way too big for thunderbird thunderbird's just way too small colossus is about six seven in height while thunderbird is six one so the difference should just be about six inches and if you put the scale six inches is something in for these figures something like this so the difference in height if it if they got a six inch difference should be like this thunderbird should just be under the brow or under the eyes of colossus that's the kind of body mold we should have gotten for thunderbird if we're trying to keep everything in scale head sculpt looks okay i was afraid the pearlesque white was going to bleed into the red but other than that there's really nothing much to complain about this figure other than the hands popping off and the fact that it's just a plain figure that prop nobody's probably interested in oh a lot of red smudges uh almost here they're very minor red smudges and i just wish hasbro could have done a better thunderbird figure they were going to do one anyway and have her and have him put with storm which people are going to be forced to buy anyway might as well give us a good figure instead of an afterthought so nobody cares about thunderbird right Let's move on to what we really came here for, and that is the goddess, Aurora Monroe as Storm. Now, we've gotten some Storm figures in the past, the Jim Lee Storm and the Mohawk Storm, where she was with the Morlocks. Those were okay. Those were well and good, especially the Jim Lee Storm. We've gotten two versions, which I'll show off the other one later. Fans have been clamoring for a classic costume Storm, which we saw on the pages of giant-sized X-Men, and we never thought Hasbro would do it. I felt Hasbro would do it, but it was taking them forever, and finally, finally, years in the making, we finally get a decent one, and it is gorgeous. I kid you not. This is by far, in my opinion, the best 112th scale storm for mass retail that we've ever 
gotten. I mean, you don't have to go buy the other products, the premium products that are selling so much, so expensive right now. This is retail, Hasbro retail, and it looks amazing. There are a few comments that I'm gonna say about this figure, but that's just me nitpicking, which you all know. But in my opinion, this figure is just absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better Storm figure. Now, if you look at her, the first thing you will notice are the shiny bits. And I am so glad they gave us this. Uh, it wasn't gonna be like a dull black type of plastic. It was, it's going to be, look at this. It's the shiny uh, type of PVC material that it kind of gives the impression that he's got the plastic suit on, which is really the case. I think this is what the uh, our artists at Marvel Comics really intended Storm to look like. I'm just so, so impressed with it. Look at the cape. Look at this. how this the cape's been sculpted. Unbelievable. It's really flowing. And I actually prefer this over soft goods, uh, soft goods cape. The figure will have some paint issues. That was the first thing I did notice when I was sifting through several uh, on the shelf or the store floor. And the first thing you'll notice is the yellow paint. Yellow paint, just like the white paint, has been a bane in Hasbro's production of Marvel Legends figures. And as you can see, the yellow paint is just not perfect. There are a few bits and pieces of imperfections right here you can see on her neck. On her on the on the hem hemline of her cape that's fine this was the most acceptable one I could find there were a lot of other figures that had uh, missing yellow paint right here some smudging right there that red gem right there has been smudged with yellow and, and so on and so forth uh, which was I don't know I was a little bit disappointing because this storm was really great and I wish Hasbro could have taken a little bit more quality control measures just to avoid stuff like this and give us a wonderful and perfect figure the other issues that i have with this figure in terms of pain apps are the ones on the face particularly the teeth you're going to want to look at that that those set of pearly whites that they should be painted on right smack in the middle i don't know why they even painted it white uh, they could have just kept it black or i don't know yeah, maybe white was the correct choice, but a lot of the figures had the white, I had the white uh, paint set to the left or to the right or incomplete or just way too much. And the other one are the eyes. Just make sure that the figure you get have the eyes painted on nicely. But other than that, the figure is just absolutely perfect. Looking at two figures side by side, take nothing away from the Jim Lee Storm figure. This figure is obviously the better looking figure between the two. Mold wise, face sculpt, even the details of the cape, the hair. This storm, this storm right here is the is my go-to storm right now. If you want to recommend which storm to pick up, this is the one you need to track down. You can get this one as well. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with it if you're a big storm fan. You gotta get both versions, all the versions of storm, but if you just want one storm in your collection, I think this is the best one we have to date. Now the figure comes with a slew of amazing accessories. She has two different head sculpts. Here's the other one. The other head sculpt is more of a laid back, just a regular type of head sculpt with the hair just flowing down. And this is probably the standing normal pose. It's a nicely sculpted head sculpt as well. And I actually kind of prefer the expression on this face more than the uh, this other one with the lips ajar and or slightly opened lips with that teeth those teeth painted teeth are really bugging me i'm sorry but this one this one i think is the better head sculpt you can see clearly that she has the lightning effects hands Psh, the emperor the sith lord Psh, electric lightning hands she does come as well with two extra pairs of hands uh molds which we've already seen in various marvel legends 
uh, female figures that they've molded it in brown to match her skin tone. These are displayed hands and the fists. She does come with a plain draped over cape just like this. Very cool. Made with the same glossy type of soft PVC material. Also on this cape, you will notice that the same kind of quality control issues abound with the yellow paint and that red gem. Uh, it's okay. The, this is the most acceptable one I could find. There are some with more smudging of yellow here and there. It's a, it's a quality issue that I think Hasbro has yet to perfect the yellow paint and their white paint. I mean, this is such a great, great figure and I wish they could have taken more care uh, with the paint apps. Yeah, but that's okay. Easily forgivable. Okay, let's talk about the figure's articulation. The head is, or the neck, is on a ball joint that is on a hinge. The torso is on a ball joint, no waist swivel, that's fine. They don't want to ruin this fantastic sculpt on the pelvis. She's got a ball hinge, shoulders goes in and out, forward and backward, no butterfly joints, which is fine. Uh, I'm sure they recycled bits and pieces of the arms here. Uh, the arms can go more than 90 degree bend, can hinge up and down and swivel. Wrists can go up and down, I suppose, or in and out and swivel. Feet have rocker, rocker joints. I don't know if they have if they recycled these clogs, uh, these high-heeled shoes. They don't seem, I don't know if they're from the Emma Frost. I don't think they are. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty, I think they look new to me. It's got a new double jointed knee, which is pinless. Wow. And look how much the legs look or the boot looks like on this figure. It's so seamless. And without those holes, it just makes for a better looking sculpt. The only disadvantage that this uh, new pinless uh, leg joint or knee joint has is it just the... the the leg cannot do more than like a 100, 110 degree bend. It doesn't go all the way back here, which the, the, the original joints with the pin, I think, would allow you to do so. Okay, it's got a thigh swivel, and I deliberately made the hip joints last because I wanted to talk about this new sculpt for the hips and her glute, uh, gluteus maximus area. As you can see, it's a more seamless ball joint, uh, hip joint. You can see right here, it is a ball joint, but they've remolded this part of her hip. You can clearly see how much it fills out the spaces and leaves no gap in her uniform, in her bikini bottom. Look at that. Look how much the curves are more perfect on this one than the previous uh, female body molds that we've been getting from Hasbro. Case in point, Look at the Mystique, the Jean Grey, the Polaris hips. Albeit that Storm is, is a woman that is more fuller in their hips than the other figures. But to me, there's really no excuse for this. Look at this. There's so much gap between the rear area and the actual hips that it really just breaks the silhouette with the older uh, female body mold. And I'm so glad they didn't recycle this and they gave us a fuller... Uh, molded hips for Storm, and it just makes a more beautiful curve on her hips. I really, really like this one. This is what really, really sold me on this figure, apart from the head sculpt, the great accessories, the shiny, glossy plastic they use, the new hip joint really sealed the deal for me. I really, really enjoy this figure. And I hope we get to see more of this sculpt uh, instead of this for future releases. Uh, maybe... If, if we're lucky, we'll still get the original Rogue mold for that upcoming Retro Classics Rogue. But for future releases of figures, I think this is the way to go. I think Hasbro has, has, has uh, really perfected their mold for the female body sculpt for their Marvel Legends figure. And just a quick look at Storm in her standing pose together with other Marvel Legends figures. Here she is with Jean Grey and, of course, the Warpath that nobody really needs. Okay. So she looks great. She can stand up on her own despite those very, very small uh, clogs or high heeled feet. Despite being top heavy because of the cape and the head sculpt, the, the figure will stand 
uh, provided you have a flat, solid base or table or shelf, it's fine. I was very surprised uh, when I looked at the figure. I thought this was never going to stand without a, a, ba a base and you got to peg it on those feet, but I'm surprised. It actually does stand up okay, uh, even in this normal standing position. And so some final thoughts on this set. I think it's a great set. Uh, it's about time that Hasbro gave us Storm in her classic outfit from the giant-sized X-Men. And I think, by far, this is the best 6-inch scaled, 112 scale Storm we've gotten from the Marvel Legends line by Hasbro. Now, when you're going into the set, when you're, when you're going through the store, you have to think that when you're buying the set, you are buying a Storm figure, a Marvel Legends Storm figure in a deluxe class packaging and price point with a huge box, tons of accessories, and it comes with this huge accessory called Thunderbird. Thunderbird is just an accessory to me and the real reason you're gonna to wanna to buy this is obviously Storm. The entire set for me is gonna get a nine and a half out of 10. Storm is obviously going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. Would have been an 11 except for those uh, smudges on the paint apps and, and a bit of the details of the face that I wasn't very comfortable with. John Proudstar, Thunderbird is obviously going to get a four out of 10 for me. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this set. Did you already pick up this set? Are you gonna wait till this set goes on clearance? What do you think of this set? Let me know in the comment section. Be interested to know what you guys think and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you wanna help me out in this channel, check out my Patreon account. There is a link in the description box below. Any form of contribution will be greatly appreciated and will further the channel by allowing me to do more video reviews for you guys. As always, thanks for watching.